Hey guys and welcome to The Buying View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're going to be talking uh, about uh, Yalpalina. Of all days to be even worse, feeling even worse, um, it's the day where there's loads of news. Uh, Yuri Hornis has been speaking um, in the media. We've also got the likes of Leroy Sane talking. Obviously, there's the Palin Door uh, entries. We ain't going to win anything, but you know the fact that they're being nominated is great. Uh, but we're going to be talking about Yao Polina. If you guys are going to enjoy, please do smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button down below, and um, yeah, let's um, let's get into this video. So uh, this, it says Bayern are set to launch a fresh move for Yao Polina in January. Fulham manage uh, Fulham manager Marco Silva does not want to lose Polina, but the club are uh, thought to be willing to let him go if they could get a replacement lined up. Fulham moved to sign Scott McTominay and Hoiberg on deadline day and both players are likely to be available again in January. So, yeah, um, straight away, um, we know that this deal is something that Thomas Tuchel wants, something that I definitely want, me, myself, and, you know, and um, I know a lot of you guys also want him. Um, we need a six. If that's what Thomas Tuchel, the manager, wants, that's what we need to go and get him. Um, that's how I personally see it. I know there's this thing going around that, you know, that we, you know, I've seen it a couple of times uh, that obviously Declan Rice was the main guy and I think he was the main guy. But of course, um, we wanted to get a striker as well and we can't spend what well, I don't even know what Arsenal spent. It was over 100 mil, wasn't it? But uh, Yal Polina, um, obviously him and his family are very, uh, very, very um, happy with Bayern, the way that Bayern treated them and so on and so forth. And uh, I think that helps Bayern's chances of getting them, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, like I said, I know that Yuri Hunas has been speaking, um, which we do need to make a video on that. Um, and I've had to make myself get up to make this video. So hopefully guys are all doing well. Hopefully guys are all safe and everything. And um, yeah, if you enjoy, please do smash the thumbs up. Like I said, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Um, hopefully I'll be back fully and fit very, very soon. Um, but yeah, right now I feel like crap. Um, but yeah, without a doubt, um, it looks it looks like we are going to go back in for um, Polina, which I think is a great thing, great move. That's what we need to do, hundred uh, percent. And um, without a doubt, him Kimmich in the in the midfield as a mid mid. Uh, Phil Dewar, obviously we haven't seen it so I can't say that'd be good but I'm excited for it I'm excited for even having that as the case um, but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below on Yao Polina are you still wanting him like how, how are you guys feeling on on that particular situation uh, let me know what you guys think uh, as always um, what does that say da, 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 da. Um, and then this is um, Tuchel's focus was on Polina even after Pavard left the club there were um, options discussed to replace the Frenchman but not everyone agreed on Tuchel had to call had a call with Chalaba and convinced him to join Belicoccia was also discussed but the club bosses did not agree to uh, a move another loan deal for Cancelo was also an option on deadline day and was feasible. Tuchel had agreed at first, but after a conversation with his staff, they voted. Uh, they the v, vetoed vetoed the move. Um, so basically, they got rid of it and they didn't go with it. Um, you know, again, like I've made this in this whole video, I think we're going to get Polina. Um, Polina, I can't ever say his name, and. Um, I think that is the case, and I think we will we will strive forward without a doubt, uh, and hopefully um, we'll get him in January. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, it looks like Bayern are still looking at getting him. He's in he's in good spirits with Bayern. Uh, I don't know if he's been playing for Fulham. Let me know if any of you guys know. Uh, I know obviously he didn't play the game against I want to say it's Arsenal. Uh, no City, sorry, he was against City. Uh, and um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But like I said, um, he's one hell of a player, um, someone that I definitely want in 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 a Bayern shirt. Uh, um, and moving on with it, uh, without a doubt, uh, he's a great player. And um, yeah, man, I'm super super duper happy um, 
with what the news has been saying at the moment. Um, Christian Falk put out uh, this today at 7. So at the time of recording this, it's 9.30. So around two hours ago. Uh, Bayern have made a few good impressions on Yalpolina and his family during the few hours they spent in Munich last Friday. Um, Driesen told Polina's camp it's not uh, it's not over uh, before they return to London. The player has also made it clear that he wants uh, um, has made it clear that if he were to move in January, then it would only be to FC Bayern. Uh, Bayern have the money available for a January move. Um, so yeah, so, you know, um, fingers crossed. That's all I can say. Fingers crossed. But yeah, big up to everyone. Hopefully, guys are all doing well. Stay safe. All of that good stuff. We'll be back um, very, very soon. Um, fully into it. Uh, and um, yeah, until then, mia samia. Peace out, guys. Thank you for constant supporting the channel as always. Uh, and we will be pushing out content. Don't worry. Um, I'll try my best to make a couple videos tomorrow for you guys. But um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling at the moment. But yeah, thank you either way. Um, and um, see you later, guys.